All right, guys. Good evening. It is uh, Wednesday, December fourteenth, twenty sixteen, and uh, it's about five thirty p.m. New York time. And just making a quick video here um, uh, on a couple of things. Uh, one, we had the FOMC uh, today came out, and uh, there was a really excellent Elliott Wave setup. Uh, on both the Euro dollar and the U.S. Swiss, that I wanted to show you, and then I'm going to show you one other pair, uh, unrelated to this news, but um, nonetheless uh, something to uh, keep an eye on. Um, so just looking at um, news for the rest of today. Um, bring that up in a second. Um, I just restarted my computer, so it's a little slow. Okay, so anyways, let's look at this first. Um, so prior to the news coming out, I actually got into this trade. This is my demo account, by the way. Um, this is not my um, trading account, but I am in this on my trading account and my live account, too. But I wanted to get in at on my demo account, too, just so I could, um, I could show you um, the setup. So uh, this is the euro dollar, the one we're on the one hour chart here, and you can see this um, going on right here. Uh, prior to the news coming out, we had this nice downtrend, really impulsive downtrend. This goes back to uh, um, this goes back uh, to about December seventh or eighth, and uh, we had this nice move down. CCI was compressed going down, and then since then we've just been kind of slowly meandering up basically sideways here for the last uh, the last few days um, you know really yeah for about the last two days we've been basically sideways and so um, this was an ideal setup because you had an impulsive move followed by a correction so I was so confident about that I, I got into this trade before the news came out and I didn't even put a stop loss on it because well, I didn't put a stop loss on it for two reasons. Well, one, I was very confident about where it was going. And two, sometimes this news can be erratic depending on the statement. And so, uh, I, I, you know, but I knew it was going to go down. So if I was going to put a stop loss, I was going to give it lots and lots of room to breathe. But as you can see, we didn't need it. And so uh, we saw what happened. Um, perfect Elliott Wave setup. Uh, impulsive move down, followed by basically a sideways correction just before the news comes out. And boom, there we go. And we have CCI now compressed going down here. We're in a little bit of a correction here. Uh, this is probably going to go up and correct, and, and then it'll probably continue down during the uh, London session tomorrow. But overnight in Asia here, it'll it'll probably just move sideways to up as it corrects. Um, but I do expect this downtrend to continue. Zooming out a little bit here uh, on this pair. Um, you know, I, I do think it has a little bit more room to go, but uh, I, I probably will be a little cautious after this particular trend ends. Um, but, you know, this is still up quite a bit right now. I mean, from where I got in, you know, I'm up uh, 118 pips right here. So so even if it goes down a little bit more and then, you know, retest this low again, it's still going to be a nice trade. So. So, of course, the opposite to that is the U.S. Swiss, and I'll go over to here, and it's the exact opposite. And you can see where I got in right here before the news came out. I got in about half an hour before the news came out. Here was the impulsive move up, CCI compressed going up. Now, since then, it's been going down spread apart. Uh, and, you know, you can see this just kind of drifting lower. And, you know, the thing to point out is... Uh, for it to go from here to here, that is 11 candles on the two-hour chart, so or 22 one-hour candles, because I'm on the two-hour chart here. So 22 hours it took for it to make from this low to this high. Now for it to go from this high down to here, it took 80 hours. So it took 22 hours to go here and 80 hours to go here, and it didn't even retrace the whole move. Right, we put a Fibonacci on there. It went right to the 61.8. So that's how you kind of know this is a corrective move. You got an impulsive move going up, CCI compressed, 
and then in the corrective move going down the CCI kind of spread apart and then you know the fact that this one covered this this distance in a very short time and then it took all these candles um, you know four times as many candles to make this run down and it only approached 61.8 retracement level okay so and then you see what happened when the news came out it shot up and uh, you know again looking at this pair um, this is probably I'm thinking this might be approaching a wave five I don't know this is the daily chart there's probably a one two in here three four five so kind of like the euro dollar I'll be a little bit cautious about where this is going um, but I think again during the overnight it'll kind of drift lower and then we'll probably get one more push up before a larger correction um, but it's a nice move uh, right now it's up from where I got in you know it's up uh, 85 pips or so and it probably will approach I think by the time this this move alone ends it'll it'll probably be back around 100 pips so so not bad in just you know basically a couple hours okay so perfect perfect uh, setup there uh, on Elliott wave for for this um, this move um, again getting back to this original and this probably a wave if I went down to a shorter time frame I could probably find a wave two in here uh, a one two you know let's see here if we can see it uh, having to scroll all the way back I gotta shut off my scroll that's why I didn't want to do this I'll turn off my scroll here so this was the original move up so it's a little hard to see it. This is a little distorted, but you probably had a one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, a long sideways forward. This is the 15 minute chart up for five. And then we correct it down. So let's go back to the one hour here. Again, you know, you don't necessarily need to count waves. You're just looking at the structure and just knowing this is an impulsive move based on the CCI. And you know, this is kind of a corrective move because it's just kind of meandering a lot of overlapping waves just taking its time to go down and then boom shoots back up again okay so that's the US Swiss and again I might be a little cautious um, after it maybe retest this high about where this is going I might consider either moving my stop up close or just exiting and seeing what it does next but either way it'll be a good trade and this is all based off the pattern and the Elliott wave the Elliott wave pattern and the news that came out. So the other one I want to show